Good evening, Berhashafat here, or Ezekiel, whatever my name is. It is a lovely January 1st, very cold at the park here. The lake is about half frozen from the looks of it. I can see it from here, but anyway, different camera angle, different lighting. It's a different year, so whatever. Anyway... New Year's, uh, as I told you guys in the last video, the website is up, happy about that. Just put out a new article today, which is it's the same idea that we're gonna be talking about here. Okay, so, some have made resolutions for New Year, okay? And in light of that, and even if you haven't, you know, chances are if you are have any kind of ambition to improve yourself or to live life, then you have some things that you want to do in 2018, whether it's a resolution or not. You want to do something, okay? You've probably made some decisions. Uh, if not for New Year's, then, you know, just in life in general. All right, this is broadly applicable, but New Year's is a great time to talk about it because, like I said, people are making resolutions. And people are failing resolutions. And, you know, it gets tough. And they give up and they give themselves a free pass. Why? Why do you give yourself a free pass when you let yourself down? Why do you give yourself a free pass when you quit on yourself? If you had a friend, and this is the analogy here. If you had a friend or, or you just knew somebody, a business partner maybe, who breaks their promises to you as often as you break your promises to yourself, how would that affect your relationship with them? Like, what would that look like? You know? I don't know how often you break your promises to yourself. You know, this is going to be a variable answer kind of a question here. It depends on you. But for probably most people, if they knew somebody who broke their promises to them as often as they break their promises to themselves... They wouldn't trust that person for long. They would strain their relationship. They probably wouldn't even keep them as a friend for very long. Uh, for sure, they wouldn't, you know, do anything serious with them, never go into business with them or anything like that. They'd never uh, start any kind of serious relationship with them. You know? Why do you give yourself a free pass? You should hold yourself to a higher standard than you hold anybody else to. Everybody else has their own stuff to worry about. Why are you expecting them to do more for you than you're willing to do for yourself? You understand? If you don't even expect yourself to keep your own promises that you make for yourself, why are you expecting anybody else to put in the work and keep the promises that they make to you. You can't expect that. And you can't you can't hold other people to a higher standard for how they treat you than you hold yourself for how you treat you. Does that make sense? So consider that, you know, as the year goes on, as you undertake whatever undertakings you have. Remember that and when it gets tough and when it gets, you know, it starts to feel like it's not worth it to keep doing what you've decided to do. And when it feels like, you know, you can just let it slide and let it pass and give yourself that free pass on that and say, oh, you know, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. Think about it first. Think about whether you'd let somebody else, you know, off the hook so easy. Think about whether you would be disappointed in somebody else for giving up on you at that point, for quitting on you, for breaking their promise to you because it was tough or because they didn't feel like it or because it was harder than they expected it to be. You know? When other people break their promises to you, they're teaching you that they are not somebody that you can depend on and they're teaching you that they really don't care about you that much. They don't care about you enough to stick with it when the going gets tough and when 
you know, things get uncomfortable, when they don't feel like following through anymore, when they don't feel like putting the work in, they're showing you that you're not worth it to them. All right. They're showing you that their words are empty and that they don't, you know, that their yes is not yes and their no is not no. They're showing you that they're full of empty promises. Okay. When you break your promises to yourself, whether you realize it or not, and whether it's conscious or whether it's subconscious, you're teaching yourself the same thing. You're teaching yourself, I'm the kind of person who doesn't follow through. I'm the kind of person whose words are meaningless. I'm the kind of person who breaks promises. I'm the kind of person who doesn't finish what I started. I'm the kind of person who doesn't value myself to stick with it and stay committed to myself when the going gets tough. I'll let it go. I'll let it, you know, I'll let it slide and give up on myself. It's not worth it. Don't be like that. All right? Stick with it. It is worth it. You're worth it. Sounds cheesy, sounds hokey, whatever. You know, everybody talks about self-worth nowadays. You're so worth it. But it is true. And it means something different than most people think that it means. Most people think I'm worth it. So, you know, I, so I give myself the pass. So I let myself slide. So I'm just good enough no matter what. And I don't have to put in any effort. No. You're worth it, which means that you're worth the effort. Okay, you're worth putting the work in. So put the work in because you're worth it because it's worth it because the people around you who are going to be affected by how you change your life are worth it. Go do it. It's 2018. Stop wishing for a happy new year and start making one. That's it. Y'all have a good day. God bless you guys. Take it easy, but not too easy. Grow Hashafat out.